Hello guys and welcome one more day to Danny Music Collector. Today we have a collection that I've been working on since I'm pretty young, we will say. I was maybe 5-6 years old when I started it. And we're talking about my Megadeth CD collection. It's not too big, I'm missing some things here and there, but I have some pretty cool things to show you. You want to see it? As I just told you, I started collecting Megadeth when I was 5-6 years old, when my big brother Jose gave me Rust in Peace, a city that you're gonna see, of course, Candanto Station, another one that you're gonna see, and Euthanasia that he has it back again. And after he gave me those CDs, a little bit after, I started buying the rest of the collection, slowly but surely. And as I told you, I'm missing some things here and there. But I think I'm in a good way to have a pretty big Megadeth collection. Starting with, I'm gonna start since the beginning, no, chronologically the discography, not the way I got them. So, here we have Killing is my business and business is good, the 2002 edition, re-remastered and remixed by Dave Mustaine. It includes also the first Megadeth demo from 1984, I think, 3? It looks like that. I got it secondhand in Harmony for 4 euros. I remember it was... After the birthday party of a friend, uh, he was turning 14, so maybe I was 15. And we went through the door of Harmony, and I was like, hey, I'm gonna have a look because I feel like it. I have some money. I'm gonna see if I find something. And I found it, I picked it up. I was with my friend Paco that needs to come and make a video with me. And he found, I think it was a Gundam Station and Life and Marky of Dream Theater, maybe something more, but I don't remember, I just found that one. And after we came out, there we had another two friends, one being the birthday party boy, you know. And we have to say they used to buy video games for our PC. And the guy said, I think it was... Not the birthday boy, but the other guy said, why do you still buy CDs? Okay, why do, do you still buy games? I don't understand. So yeah, I had to tell you that I'm sorry, it's just bullshit, but... Then we have, this one I got it in France like last year, maybe November last year. And it's a 2011 Century Media edition. It has the original cover, which I kinda enjoy more than the one I just show you. With the plastic skull, like Dave Mustaine says. And yes, just a beautiful edition. I love, I love the presentation of it. And gonna show you the booklet first because it's a pretty damn cool bo booklet with lots of cool pictures. And it has the Century Media catalog here. So yeah, this one I got it in France like a year ago for six, seven euros, maybe five. Here you have the beak of the guys. Um, pretty happy with the copy. Of course, we have the new edition. Killing is my business. And business is good. The final kill. This is from Century Media again. You can tell that Dave Mustaine remixed it again. It's just beautiful. Look at that. It sounds awesome. It has a re record version of these boots. Because if you knew, that was the original one that I don't have on any CD because the ones I have are the. Look, I still have the ticket of it. I got it on El Corte Inglés for. 17 euros 16 sorry and they had some legal trouble so they used ah wait i was looking that i still have the sticker inside so yeah i will record the version because if you know they had some problems with the original because of the change of lyrics and everything so they beeped it up all the shit they beeped it up and 
So, yeah. You don't have the vips that you have in the 2002 reedition and in some of the newer editions, they've mostly re-recorded the vocals. So yeah, that's for my Killing Is My Business collection. They're just three CDs, but they're cool. I love this album. For me, it's one of the best Megadeth albums ever, just being the first one. For Fish Cells, we have this beautiful copy that I bought when I was six, seven years old. So yeah, it's one of the uh, original CDs. It looks like that. It's all bashed up. I remember I got the money, the six euros, by... I'm not sure I paid in euros, maybe I was seven or eight years old. So yeah. Uh, like I was telling you, I used found pocket money that I that, that I had and looking by some strange places of the home, I found the six zeros and I picked it up. So that's the story of my first Megadeth album that I bought. Not too long ago, in a court inglés, I found again by the same price that I paid the other piece sales this 2002 remix version. That is sounds awesome, it looks awesome, the CD is beautiful. And it doesn't have any special story behind it. Not like lots of my mega CDs that you are seeing in this video. And you're gonna see some more of those. But anyway, let's continue with my only copy of So Far So Good So What, this a 2004 remix remaster, same as Peace Cells. I know I said it was 2002, but I was mixing with the remix version, the first one I saw you of Killing It's My Business. So yeah. This 2004 copy I got it in 2004 or 5 or even 6. Back then I had a friend that I don't longer have anymore that was starting to get into metal and I recommend him some albums. So he went someday and he bought one I didn't show him but that it was cool that is this one. This is a exact copy of So Far So Good So What. And a couple of days after he got me and said, Danny, I bought that album of Megadeth I don't like. Instead, I like others that I got too, but that one I don't like. You have it? I don't know. I don't know. Tell me the name. And he says, so far, so good, so what? Ah, okay. I don't have it. So he told me, if you come with me to play in the park this afternoon to throw water balloons to friends, I give it to you. And I was like, but I don't have anything today. I don't have guitar classes today. I will go. He gave it to me. I went to my home, I left it, and we went to play. And interesting story for this one too. So yeah, that's the only so far so good I have at the moment. I hope I have an original pressing of it or something soon. Or they release a new version and I snatch it up. <laughs> and here we have that first CD of Megadeth I ever got. Well, one of the three first ones I ever got. That was an ori this is an original 1990 copy that my brother had at the time. And I now see it on my collection. I have it for years, let's say for more than 10 years, for more than 12 years is on my collection. And it's one of the one of my biggest prize on on my collection, like I'm telling you. Uh, here you have an original copy of Frost in Peace. Then here we have a 2004 remix remaster of Frost in Peace. This one I got it on FNAC. Yes, on the FNAC of when I did when you just opened. And I don't know, we went to have a world to look some things. And I found this one and the and I listen that I didn't have a spirit to Elvino the of Feros del Silencio. And I said, but for four years, I think it was, I'm gonna pick it up and give it a try. I didn't have, I don't have this edition. So, I opened it and you saw that so far so good, so what, and pixels had these colors, okay? Okay, this one, it was supposed to be a beautiful yellow, everything, but no. It's ugly, it's white. What were you thinking, Capitol? It's just, just, look. At that, look that fucking ugly motherfucker. It's just ugly. But anyway, at least I have a remix version of it. Also, we have the original copy of Countdown to Extinction that of my brothers. 
And I was telling you I had them for more than 12 years, but it's actually more than 15 years, more than 15, 16 years. Okay, this one it looks like that, your original first pressing, and this one with you, Danasia, made me fall in love with the band. So yeah, your 1991, 1992, not sure. 1992 edition. Here you have it, beautiful. The 2004 Remix Remaster This one I got it with the Euthanasia version of 2004 too And again, look Silver CD But silver of color, not of CDR It looks like that Has the back cover on it And yes, it sounds great I actually love a bonus track that is here, that is Crown of Worms that didn't come out on the US, I think it just came out on Japan. And finishing this part of Canon Testition, we have also the 10th anniversary edition of 2012. This one, what does it include? Well, this one I bought it for Christmas in 2012, actually, I'm gonna tell you. And I'm gonna show you, good, okay, just let me prepare it. So I already got everything ready to show you. We have a big ass poster that I'm not gonna show you, sorry, because it takes super long to just put it back into place. We have four pictures of the members of the band. Here we have David Ellefson. We have Dave Mustaine. We have Marty Friedman. And, sorry if I saw him sideways, but, <laughs> and of course we have Nick Mensa. Then it has the booklet, it's different to the other two booklets, it looks like that. We have CD1, that is actually the 1992 version of Countdown. Looks like that. We have the bonus CD of Life at the Coop Palace in San Francisco in 92. Great concert, it looks like that. And I kept the back paper and the side of it. So that's my 20th anniversary box set of Countdown. Now we have a euthanasia. 1994 original limited edition blue case it has the same as a normal youth and asia with just the blue cover my wife got it for me not too long ago a, let's say a month even not even a month so yeah your typical normal youth and asia but with blue case and she got it for me for super cheap in a shop that is called Toldis here on Valencia, thank you love, <laughs> it's really super cool CD and I always tell you I have a wife that I don't deserve, she's the best. Then the 2004 remix remaster of Euthanasia, this one is more pinkish and we have that image there. I actually prefer the original version of Euthanasia to this one, same with the rest of the albums, to be honest. And includes Millennium of the Blind, previously unreleased, New World Older, that it came actually on 13 finally, Absolution, and the demo of Atul Lemon. Hidden Preachers. This one is a 2007 edition, got it when it came out. And it includes four bonus tracks. A radio edit of Atul Lemon, Lemon, two, three demos that are Symphony of Destruction, Archi Architecture of Aggression and New World Order. This one I got it on on Harmony for 10 euros, I think, 12. Same as this one. This is the 2004 again Remix Remaster Edition of MD45's The Craving. What is MD45? MD45 is a band that Dave Mustaine put together. They released an album with another singer, but the remix remastered, he's singing it again. 
So yeah, I got it on on Harmony for four euros, and it's a great album. Now we have 1997 scripted writings, Italian pressing. Got it for one euro, second hand in a street sale of Valentina. It's called the Rastro, and for use one euro, I picked it up. And I forgot to tell you, the MD4, MD45 album includes a demo of the Craving of Megad, played by Megadeth. So yeah, here's your scripted writings from 97, the 2004 remixed, remastered with the black cover, lots more beautiful with four bonus tracks, including Trust, Spanish version that actually is just it looks like that is just the chorus in Spanish. And again, Silver City. Not white like the Rusting Peace. In this one, in Cryptic Writings, I prefer this version over the one I just showed you, 97. And we get to Risk. Risk, I just have one copy. I'm, going, I'm searching the 2004 that I used to have. But this one, it was a gift from my dad. We paid just 5 euros for it. New. On the Plaza Redonda, not too long ago, well, too long ago, I could tell you it's only five years. No, not too long, sorry. And this is the 2 CD edition, actually, it includes Risk and the No Risk CD. So it actually is just an EP of six songs, a greatest hits EP, we can say. So, yeah, Risk. We get to one of my all-time favorite Megadeth albums, not too, not too much people like it, and it's The War Needs a Hero. This one is my original copy that I bought when I was 12, 13 years old. Got it on Harmony for like 9 euros. It looks like that. Love this album. Actually, it concludes one of my all-time favorite songs of Megadeth, that is Dread and the Fugitive Mind. That is also on Capital Punishment. That Sadly, I don't know. We have another copy of it. The same is that, that this one, this copy here, I paid 5 euros in cash land in Lille. This one, this one I can show you, it includes the poster. And I forgot to tell you, it includes the, the censored cover on it. So yeah, the poster. It looks like that too. So yeah, got it for 4 euros in Cashland. Uh, even if I had it already, I had to pick it up. And I wanted to tell you, actually... I will put it back together after. Actually, the same day, I also bought this one that I was missing on the collection and it was fucking me up. I have the DVD too, but this is Root Awakening. The CD version. I love this gig, it was my first mega DVD ever. But the CD was just not easy to find, so it looks like that. Dave Mustaine vocals in this album are a pretty little fucked up. We can just say that. We have here an edition of The System Has Failed. This one I bought in Lille, is this one? Well, this is my original copy that I bought in Lille. Again, I got it the first time I went with my wife to Lille and I was just like, I have to find it here, I have, I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna find the system has failed. Because in Spain, I didn't fucking find it anywhere, so... Here we have it. I found it, I paid 10 euros, neither regret it. And fuck. It looks like that, it's just an awesome album. It's just awesome. Again, just for showing you, I picked my brother's copy that he bought not too long ago, because this one, the CD, is white instead of just white and orange instead of that, okay? Look at that one. Look at mine. So, yeah. We have the step has failed there. 2007 United Abomination. 2007. 11 years old already, fuck. I got it since the day it came out. I love Sleepwalker, Washington is next, Never Walk Alone, A Call to Arms, Play for Wolf, Play for Blood, A Two Le Monde, another version, You're Dead, Burnt Eyes, it's just great album. 
it looks like that. This one was a gift from my brother again. He just got me into Megadeth. Well, both of my brothers get me into Megadeth. Got me into Megadeth. I just love Megadeth since I'm a kid, thanks to thanks to them. And yeah. 2008, Santology set the world afire. This is a gift from my wife. We picked it up on El Corte Inglés and thank you, Amor. Thank you, Rui. You're the best then. Yes, I love it. My favorite Megadeth compilation. It actually goes chronologically through all the Capitol Megadeth albums. And it's awesome. Includes some demos that are pretty cool. Another gift of the wife we have Endgame. That actually was pretty difficult to find at the moment in Spain. We got it in France in the same day as we got as I got the system has failed. She bought it for me because it was difficult to find on Spain. Using in Euros. Thank you again. I'm such a lucky bastard to have her. So yeah, it looks like that. I have it on vinyl, you saw it. If you saw the video, if not, you go to see my BLS, my VCLT video. Then, 13, 2011. Again, this one I bought the day it came out. I remember going to FNAC. It wasn't there. I asked the guy and he said, No, it comes out tomorrow. No, it comes out today. Actually, he was right and came up the day after, but... I threatened about burning down the shop. And I got it. <laughs> yes, I was a... Uh, Teenager with some anger issues. It looks like that, your typical European edition. And as I told you, I think I told you, it includes New World Order that is a demo that they have from the era of euthanasia. So, yeah. Then, again, another gift of the wife we have Can Station Life. Awesome album, Life. It sounds great. I have more. I think I'm gonna listen to it now lately, later. It looks like that. Okay, now we get to Super Collider 2013. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the story about this copy about this album. It came out on July, I think, July of 2013 or even June. I was uh, about to be 18. I was making back then ASMR videos and everything. I was in a band called Return already. And the day that it came out, I woke up super early, I had my shower, I have my coffee, I go looking at Nag, there wasn't there. I go to Harmony, it wasn't there. I even go to Devil, it wasn't there. I went to another shop, it wasn't there. I went to Court Inglés finally, and the woman told me, We don't have it here, but it's on that one, blah blah blah. One that is actually by the side of the beach. So, a little bit long from where I was. So, I asked, when I got to the to the bus to the bus stop uh, guy and she told me okay to go to the country English you have to pick that bus I was glad that he actually knew to be honest so I picked that bus it took me half an hour of bus to get there I get the CD I was already exhausted because it was already I went out of home at 10 it was already 1 in the afternoon I got the CD, I bought myself a beer, I go walking to pick the other bus. It lets me on basically the same place I picked it up the bus. So I have to walk 20 minutes to home to play this album to realize I love that. That I love it. Not that people say, oh, Super Collider is shit. I love it. And more after the fucking walk that I made to just fucking have it. This is the bonus, the special edition with the bonus track. So I want the house divided. It looks like that. I take great care of this CD especially. I do for my CDs, but this one especially because all the fucking war it made me go through to have it. And it has the holographic cover too. So yeah, that's my story about getting Super Collider. Now we're getting into Dystopia Territory. One of the last albums that I'm gonna show you of Megadeth. So yeah. Dystopia was supposed to come in... I think it was... Beginning, really beginning of January 2016. And he got here on fucking, I think it was mid-February or something. 
Uh, actually, I wasn't liking very much what it was sounding the singles. Here you have your normal edition. Looks like that. And I bought both editions. Here you have the super special with the virtual reality thingy. I paid 25 euros for it. And yes. This album I'm not a big fan. I know it's just been two years. I have to listen to it more, but not a big fan. And finishing the video, I'm gonna show you this another gift of my wife. This is Life on Air radio broadcast from '87 with a picture from let's say '92-'93. Yeah, it's great. Thank you, Amor. Again, it looks like that. And well, guys, this has been a pretty long video. I hope you liked it and you enjoyed it. Just comment me down what is your favorite Megadeth album. Mine is Euthanasia. Comment me down below which one you like the most. So, thank you for watching. Take care and see you soon.